Hi everyone, it's Jody from An Eye for Beauty. And today's message is asking you to look at all perspectives with an open mind, with an open heart, opening up your ears, opening up your eyes, opening up that third eye, that gift that God gave us to see with clarity and with wisdom to step into your higher self, not your ego. When you are in your ego, and I've done a separate video on this and you're welcome to check it out, but let me touch upon it briefly. When you are in your ego, you're looking at some, anything and you're saying it's this way or it's that way, it's right or it's wrong, it's left or it's right. That's being in your ego. And there's an indignancy within you that feels that your way is the right way and the only way. When you can step back, when you can open up all three eyes, when you can look at the bigger picture, that's when you are stepping into that higher self-wisdom. And so the card that comes up tonight is compassion. Compassion is extremely important right now in our world. It's important right now, probably if you're watching this, in your own personal life. And so you may be experiencing something and this card is asking you to look at the big picture. We as human beings get so caught up in the little small details of what is going on. And if we could step back and observe what is going on as the witness, as somebody that's not emotionally attached to a situation, that is not emotionally involved. And I know my words may sound easier said than done. Believe me, I get it, I am human and I understand. But you're doing yourself a disservice if you cannot step back and be a witness and observe as a human, we go through different situations in our lives. We go through obstacles, we go through maybe traumas, we go through arguments. And when I go through an argument, I will step back and I will look at the whole of the situation to determine what did I do that I could have done better? What triggered me in order for me to react maybe the way I reacted? Why did I react the way that I reacted? When you can do that, you are offering compassion to yourself, first and foremost, and always, because that is one of the truest forms of self-love. And when you can offer compassion, you're also offering yourself kindness and a sense of forgiveness. Because you're looking at it and you're saying, why did I act that way? Or why did the situation create to begin with? because there must be some lesson in this situation that I need to learn. And then once you can offer that to yourself, you're providing yourself with compassion, you can soften. When you soften, you're able to make room, make space to try to understand how to move forward within the situation. So it's so important right now for us to be compassionate to ourselves, to each other in our circles, in our families, because our world needs that healing. Our world is ascending, whether you're on board with it or not. A new earth is forming. A lot of different darknesses are being broken down. You're watching it every day. You may be realizing it, you may not be realizing it, but it's happening. A lot of darkness is being brought to the surface. You're probably speaking with people and you're maybe not in alignment with those people because you're not in agreement with how they feel. I want you to offer them compassion as well. Your way or their way is not right or wrong. That's where you have this duality. And the part, the duality is part of the darkness that's going on right now. So what we want is to somehow 
some way, in your own individual way, start to bring unity, start to bring balance, and start to bring harmony into your own personal lives. Because as each of us does that, that helps the collective whole consciousness. We are all consciousness, all of us. Those you like, those you don't like. And so the best thing that you can do for the highest good of yourself and everybody involved in this entire world is start to offer more compassion. More compassion to yourself, more compassion to the people that you are with daily, sending compassion to all of the people that maybe you don't agree with, because our earth needs it now more than ever. This is going to be continuing as we ascend further. This is not ending anytime soon, and I'm not telling you that to scare you. I'm telling you that to raise your awareness. Raise your awareness to start to put into practice, make the commitment to start to bring positive energy, bring positive words like compassion and kindness and hope and forgiveness and joy and peace, harmony, balance, all of those things into your daily life. That does not mean that every day is gonna be rainbows and unicorns. But what it means is that you're taking that one step forward in that direction and you're providing this commitment to yourself that you're gonna be able to step forward in that direction, even if it's a little more than you did yesterday. That's all that God is asking you to do. Because the more that you can do that, that provides light on darkness. And the more that we can do that, we are going to help each other as a whole human consciousness. Because at the end of the day, we are all one. And rather than hurting ourselves, hurting each other, it is time for us to start to be more compassionate to each other as best as we can. I hope that this message provided you some guidance, some hope, some peace, some love and light, and I wish you a great day. Bye-bye.